I love to see men and women working together to raise strong, purpose-driven, happy families to build a better future for their kids and those around them. Nothing is more heartwarming than seeing kids being loved, protected, and raised in an environment where they can thrive and be the best version of themselves to one day become contributing members of society. This is what many of you and I want to see, however, those days are coming to an end with the current state of relationships between men and women. I recently watched a video online, and in it, a woman basically said she would prefer to be a mother before being a wife. Now when you hear stuff like that and understand that she's not the only one who thinks this way because the single mammy rate proves that this is the mindset of the modern XXs, tell you that it's a wrap. What was the norm of seeing mothers and fathers raising their kids and playing at the park is becoming less and less common, while women being the sole parent by choice is the norm nowadays. So to say that we are never going to see kids together with their mothers and fathers in stable households looks to be the direction where we are headed. With that said, I want all of you to understand that most of what you see happening with the destruction of the family and the fractured relationship between men and women is caused by XX's decisions. They are the ones who have changed the most in recent decades by moving away from traditionalism and towards progressive ideologies where men and families are not the priority anymore. Most of our issues plaguing the family and relationships can be fixed if younger XXs stop running men to the family court for no valid reasons, close their legs until marriage, play a traditional role within the family, and prioritize raising the kids over focusing on their careers. In a couple of decades, we could make a complete 180 and move back to where we had happy families and healthy kids who have a better chance of being a success story than what we have today. It sounds simple, but we all know that we live in a world where, unless Armageddon threatens humanity, things will only get worse. The world would have to be on the verge of destruction for men and women to return to the natural order of things. And again, this is a problem that XX has made, not men. Sure, we have become weak cowards that allow these things to happen in our society, I'm not going to deny that. But XXs are the ones who drove us to where we are today by choosing to be selfish and mismanage their lives and wet vice grip in the name of liberation and empowerment, so it's their fault. But the tragedy of all this is that they are the ones besides the kids suffering the most. You would think that men would be the ones whose lives are a complete wreck and single XXs would be living high off the hog, but that's far from true, and the statistics back me up. Take a look at this headline, and tell me who is getting wrecked right now due to the decisions that women made. I'm sure many men are down bad financially and struggling in this economy too, but take a look at that headline. So they chose to live their lives single and live it up on the CC, only to end up broke and alone. The article is from Yahoo Finance and what they are saying is what we've been talking about for more than a year. The article reads that nearly 118 million Americans, or about 46% of those over 18 years old, are single, according to the US Census Bureau. But that percentage is actually much higher for women. A record-breaking 52% of them are unmarried or separated as of 2021, according to a recent report from Wells Fargo Economics. So in 2021, there were more single women than men in total in the United States, and you're telling me that men are most affected. And like I said earlier, this is by choice. They are the ones choosing to divorce their husbands because they're bored, for cash and prizes, and hopefully to get a bigger and better deal which rarely happens. Many of these women prioritize getting their wet vice grip pounded out before even thinking about settling down with one man, while others are literally on the streets or online selling your cookie to patch their way through life each month. This is a choice that they've made, and in my eyes, none of them who are forced to sell their services or struggle financially in this economy is a victim. The time they spent wasting time on the dating marketplace and having kids out of wedlock could have been spent learning how to be a good wife and finding a regular guy with ambition. But no, they wanted to have their cake and eat it too, and now, according to this study, women are the ones being crushed by today's economy. Let's continue with the article. In fact, Harris finds three quarters of Americans say that it can be more affordable to be in a relationship, especially when it comes to splitting everyday costs like housing expenses, food prices, or monthly bills. Well, gents, when women decided to abandon relationships and marriages temporarily, they were the ones who had to foot those costs in the absence of a man, which in today's economy is not an easy thing to do. This is why you see XXs choosing to live with roommates to cut costs. Some are selling their cookie to older men with money, and others are working multiple jobs just to survive and keep their heads above water. Then add kids to that, and even with child support and government benefits, a lot of women still can't maintain a decent standard of living for themselves and their kids, and again, understand that this is by choice. Nobody forced them down this path, they decided to be in these streets, divorced in a single mammy majority of the time. 
Even if they get a man to commit, instead of treating that man with respect, these women choose to cheat on the guy, do the bare minimum in the relationship and take him for granted. So I don't see things getting better anytime soon, quite frankly, I don't care about what happens to them. If XXs want to be single and free but broke, let them. Don't save any of them when they come crawling back out of desperation, let's continue. And all singleism is not created equal, especially when it comes to gender parity. Women face not only a gender wage gap in the US, earning about 83 cents per dollar, $0.83 to men, but they also run up against a wealth gap. According to census data, the median household income for married couples was $106,921, $106,921 as of 2021. Single women earn a median income of $51,168, $51,168 $51,168, while single men make $70,525, $70,525. We aren't going to touch on the gender pay gap shenanigans. We all know that women choose to work low-paying jobs, so I'm not even going there. However, look at the difference between the household income of married couples, single men and single women, and tell me that XXs aren't naive. I keep telling you that they are the ones choosing to be broke and lonely. Men have nothing to do with it then to make it even harder on themselves because why not? They drag kids into the struggle by choosing to get impregnated by men who don't want to be husbands or fathers. Make it make sense. These people literally choose the struggle, and the data shows exactly that. So when you guys are going to choose your rib, your ride or die, and the love of your life, you better vet these women like your life depends on it because it does. And we haven't even touched on the debts that most of these women have, and already it's clear as day that wifing them up is dumb. The reality is most modern XXs are for recreational purposes only, and they choose to put themselves in that position. The dream of having a happy family with a wife and kids is nothing more than a dream in 2023. You cannot trust that the woman you select won't betray you and set her life up to be a single mammy who leeches off of you for child support and put the kids at a disadvantage. That is the reality. The dream of raising kids in healthy environments with both parents and a household as married couples is pretty much dead, and XXs killed it because they chose to be selfish. They chose to prioritize fun and their careers over family and marriage, which is why any man willing to walk a woman down the aisle in 2023 is a madman. The article is already telling you they're down bad financially, so just add the other problem like progressive ideologies, kids from another man, having sex with multiple partners, divorce graping men, child support, and so on. We're never going back to traditionalism unless we have Armageddon. But the main point that sticks out to me is that women choose to live their lives on hard mode. Most of them can live better lives through monogamy and staying pure until they get a ring on their finger, but they want no part of that. As a result, they and their kids end up feeling the negative effects the most. Let's continue. But it turns out the wealth gap is actually even wider than the pay gap, according to research from the Federal Bank of Street Louise. According to the Federal Reserve's latest survey of consumer finances, married couples had a median net worth of just over $200,000, $200,000, in 2019. In contrast, single men had a median net worth of $57,000, $57,000, while single women only accrued $47,000, $47,000. Gents, the data doesn't lie. We are better off together than we are apart, but as you can see, that's no longer a good choice for men based on XX's decisions. Society loves to paint the picture that XX's are winning, but the truth is they're not. They're doing better than they were on their own a couple decades ago, but as you can see, most single XX's are still poorer than single men and well behind financially than if they were married. So is it a win that there are more single women, or is it a massive L? You guys will have to decide that on your own, but I know they would be better off being married and pumping out babies than out here fooling around on the CC. And even when they get the man to marry them, they still leave him to chase the bigger and better deal, or because they're bored, so my advice is to leave them alone. Let them solve the problem they cause because there's nothing more men can do to bring back men and women together. Since they are the ones who want to be single and free, let them stay single and free, don't wipe them up after they've had their fun and have kids from another man. Let them fix their own lives and stay by themselves, just like they did throughout their prime selection years. They didn't want to be tied down by marriage and under the control of a man, so let us honor their decision and stay as far away from them as humanly possible. On the screen is a video you guys need to see that will show you why dating is dead, so click it right now to see why men are abandoning dating and relationships.